Hi everyone, today I just wanted to do a uh, hair facts 101. So let's start at the beginning. So we are born with 90,000 to 150,000 hair follicles on our head. We don't get any more than that. That's what we're born with. So if you are a redhead, you are more on the 90,000 range. And if you are a blonde, you are more on that 150,000 range and us brunettes are in the middle. Our hair grows about a half inch a month and the best time that our hair grows at the, is at the age of 15 to the age of 30 and then our everything starts to slow down around the age of 50. So the base of the hair, the dermal papilla, has all these capillaries and it provides all the nutrients and oxygen that our hair needs to tell it to push to make a keratin a keratin is a protein and to make this to create the hair that comes out on the top of the head 95 percent of our um, hair is protein so this tiny organ tells the hair when to grow when to rest and when to fall out so there are three stages um, the first one is the antigen stage and this one lasts for two to six years, and this is the growing stage of your hair. So a person can grow their hair to their shoulders and other people can grow it to the floor. They just have a longer lifespan of hair. They have more of that six year growth than the person that just can grow hair to their shoulders. Then we have the catagen phase, which is the transition phase. And this just lasts for one to two weeks and it's getting ready for that hair to fall out, which is the telogen phase. So the telogen phase is our falling out phase. This lasts about 100 days. So if you think about it, it that's three months. So that's why we ask you if you have telogen effluvium or if you have rapid hair shedding, that's why we ask you what happened three months prior to you having this rapid hair shedding. If we can find the trigger that happened to make all this hair fall out, we can maybe sometimes balance or have it not happen again the next time, whether let's say it's a, a surgery that you had and you had telogen effluvium three months after this surgery. Next time you have a surgery, we need to make sure we are doing everything we can to keep those hairs um, as strong and the scalp as strong and healthy as we can. So six to 8% of our hair is in the telogen phase. So that's why we lose 25 to hundred hairs per day. This is totally normal hair shedding. So after the telogen phase, it should go back into the antigen phase and create a new hair. If there is any disruption, in this phase, that's when we have hair loss and our hair slows down um, as far as its growth. So any disruption, so we're talking hormones, uh, medications, on and off medications, uh, nutrition deficiency, thyroid, lack of iron, vitamin D, or a lack of vitamin D, or too much vitamin A. So these types of disruptions can cause hair loss. So that is what I have for you today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right, I'll talk to you soon.